I have a wonderful scripture today which uh, really touched me. It's uh, Luke chapter 7 verse 4. These are the verses, the, the, this is the statement of uh, the disciples about Roman centurion. They say, and when they came to Jesus, they pleaded with him earnestly saying, he is worthy to have you do this for him. He is worthy. He is worthy. He is worthy. He is worthy. He is worthy to have you do this for him. For he loves our nation and he is the one who built us our synagogue. Uh, the Roman centurion wanted Jesus to come and pray for his servant. And, uh, and this is a recommendation that the disciples uh, do for the Roman centurion. And they say he's a good man. You know, he's a good man. He's passionate. He wholeheartedly believes you. And he has also, you know, built a synagogue for us. This is a this is a, a good report given about a particular person, the Roman centurion to Jesus. I, I was very touched about this. He is worthy. And and the next verse, you know, verse 6 says, and Jesus went with them. He was, you know, Jesus was very touched about the report. And then uh, when, he, uh, when he goes uh, to meet uh, the Roman centurion, the Roman centurion, he said, uh, Lord, you don't have to come to my house. You just say a word that's enough. I'm not worthy to come for you to come into my house. Can, just have you they just see the two worthy here the disciples say that he is worthy for you to go and help him but the roman centurion says you know with all humility he says i am not worthy for you to come into my house so you just say a word lord that's enough I was just moved by the scripture. You know, we every day we see people saying, every day Christians say, I'm not, I'm, you know, I'm not worthy. I'm not, I'm not a 99%, uh, 100% Christian. I'm a 99% Christian. I still smoke. I still drink. But still Jesus loves me. I mean, this is, uh, and then they say, you know, uh, I, I, I don't do anything for him. I, I, after even 15 years of salvation, they say that uh, my prayer level is not up to the mark. But still Jesus Jesus loves me. Uh, I'm not worthy, but still Jesus loves me. This is a deception. When you when you know that you have not done anything for Jesus, when you when you know very well that you have not gone to the next level, when you very well know that you have heard the word of God, but still that you are you have not fasted enough, you have not read the Bible enough. Even after ten years, you have not read the Bible completely. And you, and you know that the, the account of your life, you know. But still you say that, you know, the grace of God is leading me. I'm, 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 I'm a very angry person, but still the grace of God is leading me. But when will we come to a stage where we have a good report about us by people saying that he's a worthy person? He has brought so many people to the church. He is, a, this, he is a Sunday school uh, teacher. He, he takes, in spite of all the, you know, work in his life, still he finds time to lead the youth group. And still he finds time to do the men's fellowship. He's got, he's got so much of commitments in his, uh, in his office, but still he manages to come and attend the Bible class. He, he does this men's fellowship. Are you listening to me? I don't know. I don't know how many of you would would even listen to me thus far because the moment people hear my message, they want to just delete it or just, you know, skip off. But if you have come thus far, thus far, God is speaking with you. What is your, uh, what is your uh, part in the church? Uh, how, how much are you helping the pastor? Sometimes you are very, uh, you know, you feel it is enough that you are giving some offering. That you're giving some money and then you know you spend your time browsing the uh, phone and you're 100 uh, 124 bar 7 you're on whatsapp and social media but then and then you 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 have the uh, audacity to say that you know by the grace of god is still leading me i'm not till up to the mark but here the bible says that yeah he has a group of people the roman centurion where they say he's worthy this man, this Gentile man, he has not come into the church. He has not attended prayer seminar, but he is worthy. Lord, he is worthy for your help. When Ruth, the Moabite woman, when she uh, left everything behind and when she went behind her mother-in-law to Bethlehem, where she did not have any of her relatives there, her friends there, nobody. But she just trusted Jehovah God and, went, and she went to Bethlehem. And there was a group of people who came and gave a good report to Boaz. They said, she is worthy for your help, sir.
She is a woman who works from morning till evening. Can anybody give you a report like that? She is a worthy. She is a good person. She works well. She does not uh, cheat. Uh, she does not use the office phone. She does not use uh, unnecessarily. She does not waste the office time. Even if you are hearing of the word of God from in during your office hours, it is wrong. The, can anybody tell you she is a faithful person? She is a faithful teacher. She is a faithful uh, person who, who, in the office. Can anybody say he is worthy? God bless you.